Interactive whiteboards have become a popular tool in many classrooms today. The children are really excited by the technology, and I think it enhances their learning and their um, motivation. They all like to use it. I can use the uh, screen shield, and I can actually either at the computer or at the board pull down and reveal questions and answers one at a time, as opposed to having it all up there using a, uh, like a PowerPoint presentation. I use a smart board primarily for language arts and interactive learning with the children, so they can come up and use the different colors to use for writing. I use it mostly for math, instruction in math. Sometimes they'll come up to the board and they'll use the smart board as well, mostly for math right now. Because of this, educators and those hoping to become one need to understand how to use them. Many educators are still only using them as projection surfaces. We're going to try and change that. There are two popular brands of interactive whiteboards, the Smart Board and the Prometheum Active Board. Today we're going to focus on the Smart Board. We're going to cover the basics of the Smart Board itself and even dive into the notebook software a little bit. Let's get started. The first and maybe most important thing you need to know about the Smart Board is how to turn it on. The button is on the bottom right hand corner of the board. One of the nice things about the Smart Board is that it automatically connects to the projector in the computer for you, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Now remember, technology is never perfect, and sometimes you have to calibrate the board. It's very easy. You just push these two buttons on the bottom of the pen tray, and then hit the targets as they appear. One of the great features of the Smart Board is it gives you the ability to annotate the desktop a website, PowerPoints, or any other application, and it will save your notes. To do this, you simply pick up the pen. By picking up the pen, the Smart Board will automatically open an ink layer and the toolbar. Let's look at the toolbar. This has options so you can change your pen styles. We have the mouse option, the normal pen, the creative pen, the magic pen, the highlighter, eraser, right click, and other options. Once you've made your notes, Let's take a look at the top right hand corner of the screen. There are three button options. You can clear the layer, save the layer, or close the layer. If you save the layer, your notes will import into the notebook software, and then you can save them from there for your later use. Let's take a look at the notebook software. The notebook software is a great way for creating interactive lessons for your students. But the best way to get to know the software is to explore the different tools to see what they can do. We'll go over a few of the, just the basics. Let's look at the pens. You have the regular pen with lots of different options. The creative pen, which your students will love. And the shapes, lots of different options and very easy to make. Just click and drag. The magic pen is really cool. If you draw, the ink will slowly disappear. Or if you make a square, it'll zoom in on that spot. And if you make a circle, it'll highlight that spot and you can make it bigger or move it around. Let's take a quick look at the sidebar. This first tab is for navigating between your pages. The next one is your resources. There's lots of different pictures, interactive multimedia, and backgrounds that you can choose from. You simply just search what you're looking for. The next tab is for files that you've uploaded into the notebook software. And this last tab has your fill effects or page recording. To record, you simply hit start recording and write something. Stop recording and then it'll play it back for you. Now when you're all finished creating your lesson, you need to save it. You simply go to file and if you save or save as, it'll save as a notebook file or you can go to export and it'll export as a web page, image file, PDF, CFF, or a PowerPoint. And then you can give it to your students as well. Thanks for joining us. These are some of just the basics, but hopefully this will help you get started with your smart board 
and maybe even impress your students a little.